Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. Trading cards. Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. 
It's like my own private gallery. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You said yourself, magic is super lame. I did, but that was before I learned how much children's birthday parties pay. If you can trick parents into paying you, <laughs> I will truly believe you're a magician. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and... Tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? You're the one with the killer memory, not me. Very true. One of my finest traits, along with humility. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long Mac Silver! You were such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek... <laughs> In mine eyes, spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper 
prison five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. Uh, again, only those <laughs> with pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck, and... Uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right, time to find this map. Any luck? <sighs> nope. You? Nothing yet. Um... Yes! Take that, Rat King. Mm. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year.
People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Uh. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Just need a few more inches.
Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip, maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. I just need a few more inches to reach the attic. slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. I think that should be tall enough. There is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult.
You have to go back. One step closer. This thing is empty. This is a nice close-up shot. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in his attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Haha! <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Watching me up there, Creeper? I'm just getting some light. This cavern is even darker than I remembered. Did you conquer your fears? <sighs> you could say the hell. Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plank.
Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Granted. One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes. Ah, damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it... Oh, I lost my magnifying glass privileges. Great art is never appreciated. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this why I keep pushing off telling Chloe I'm leaving? Because I don't want to ruin this time together? How am I going? What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean sis? Actually, I meant we. Door. Punk. Punks are cool. Good talk. Closer to getting that treasure, whatever it is. All I'm saying is, I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah. Probably look like a loser, huh? Yeah, totally. But we're losers together. If you're a loser, Max, I don't think I want to be cool. It's just... This whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well, treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? 
Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with... something? Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. The angle almost looks right. I'm so close. I just... Need to keep looking. I think I have the right angle, but... Where does it line up? I'm so close. I just... Need to keep looking. Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. No, no. The other right. My other right or your other right? My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Just go that way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. That is not what we buried. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer! Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me! Bloody Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. 
I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> Ugh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. To Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <sighs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at everything. It's good to see you, old friend. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? A time capsule was such a good idea. I know, right? We're geniuses. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. Hmm. This looks like the punchline to something. Where's the rest? Ah. Keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. <laughs> I 
You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. I still haven't told Chloe about my news. I, I can do that after I finish looking at everything. You sure were troublesome to find. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. <laughs> this jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh. Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She didn't like me getting mushy just now. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Okay. What's the plan? I'm taking you to the beach. We haven't been since school started. Yeah. That's true. It's gonna feel different now, though. Why? Because we're pirates again! We can't go to a beach without taking it over. Or at least making a hideout. <laughs> so? You wanna do that? Make a hideout? <laughs> yeah! One that's really tucked away so people won't mess with it or even see it. I know exactly where we could put it. You know those two rocks? Right by the grassy part? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, man! We could probably make it big enough to keep things there. Like a food stash. And, and towels and stuff? Yeah, and a flashlight and maybe blankets. So we can go there at night. I bet that would be beautiful. One day, I want to see glowing sand. Oh, me too. My dad saw it once with my mom. He said their feet made blue fluorescent footprints. Oh my god. I want to take a picture of that so bad. Oh, you have to. We can go every night to make sure we don't miss it. <laughs> I'm so excited! We're gonna have the coolest pirate hangout ever. Just like we always talked about. Yeah. And it would just be for us. Exactly. Our own little place. Oh, this is so awesome! <laughs> Let's get some snacks. My mom, he said their feet... My mom, he said their feet made blue fluorescent footprints. Oh my god. I want to take a picture of that so bad. Oh, you have to. We can go every night to make sure we don't miss it. <laughs> I'm so excited! We're gonna have the coolest pirate hangout ever. Just like we always talked about. Yeah. And it would just be for us. Exactly. Our own little place. Oh, this is so awesome! <laughs> let's get some snacks and go scope it out.
I'm moving to Seattle. We're leaving today. My dad got a job there, and I don't know when I'll be back. I didn't want to go. It wasn't up to me, and it was all so sudden, and I still kind of can't believe it's really happening. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. I'm so, so sorry. I hated thinking about us being apart. And I, I, I didn't want you to have to think about it too. I didn't want to see you sad. <laughs>